Hi, I'm Sam. Many children suck their fingers or thumbs. It's a common habit, especially amongst infants and toddlers who might use their thumb to self-comfort. Often, children stop by the time they reach school age. In some children, however, the habit persists. A common question I'm asked is, what happens to the teeth if my child sucks their fingers or thumb? Clinically, some of the side effects of this habit include prominent or buck teeth, an open bite, or lack of overlap between the upper and lower front teeth, and sometimes even delayed full eruption of the front permanent incisor teeth if the child is older, say around age eight years. Some children develop a tongue thrust swallowing habit or might habitually place their tongue in a more forward position at rest because there's a gap created between the front teeth. Generally, although not always, the longer the habit persists and the more often during each day the sucking occurs, the more obvious these side effects. Before any orthodontic appliances are used to help stop or minimise this habit, it's important to assess each child's needs. Some children are not emotionally ready to stop sucking their thumb at age five or six, but often by age eight or nine they will be. Reward charts are the first approach we'll use, together with an explanation to the child about the effects of the sucking habit on the teeth. Scare tactics aren't generally encouraged, as often anxieties might be triggered. Occasionally, an orthodontic appliance may need to be used, especially in older children. Once the habit stops, we often see a significant improvement in the position of the front teeth. If you have any concerns or your dentist picks up on such issues, it may be worthwhile consulting an orthodontist for further advice. Why don't you come and see us at Smile Council?